Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Ignis tutorial to convert the objects and for design. So in the scene we have a chair, camphor with the five logs, grass, trees and one skinned mess, which is an end. Uh, let's start with chair because it's the most simple one. So the chair has already colliders in place, so we can just click Convert flammable object, and if we want to convert the shader, we can convert the shader, but you don't need to. So click convert, and then the flammable object will be attached to your chair. Uh, when you click preview flames, you will all already see the flames there because the box colliders tell the places for the flame and the red area is the ignition area so the chair will now ignite other objects in this red area uh, let's turn the gizmos off uh, so the flame is looking pretty good already maybe make it vary a little bit more Okay, maybe a little bit more smoke and we are ready with the flame design. Nice. So we can also design the material animation. So let's bump up the shader emission multiplier and then we can choose the color which is usually the orange or yellow, but it can be red or anything else you want. Okay, so we are ready designing our flame. If we want to set this on fire when the scene starts, cl click set this on fire and start. So now the fire will start in the beginning of the scene. So. That was easy, but let's imagine a situation where we don't have colliders in our object. And uh, nothing happens because the box colliders tell the Ignis where the flames should be. But luckily we can use the mess fire function. So it will automatically calculate random places for the fire in the mess so it will start smaller fires within the mess bounds we need of course some more setuping for this but this is the fast way if you don't want to use use colliders and we can calculate the flammation area to ignite other objects do with the mess okay so that's the chair and uh, let's move on to the logs All right so let's convert them the same way and uh, this time i don't want to convert the materials because i have good shaders and i, I don't want to use any any different shaders so the logs have capsule colliders and uh, this means nothing will happen. And I don't want to use mess fire because I want only to have one fire per log. So let's calculate the flammation area with the object. So it will automatically calculate some area for the for the fire with the mess. So we already have fire. Let's enable the preview for all of them. And uh, 
multi-select them so we can edit them all at once and maybe reduce the area to make the campfire a little bit more concentrated then more liveliness okay maybe a little bit more yellow color and, uh, Okay, it look, looks kind of good already, and uh, let's add some small, more smoke there, and I think it's it's ready. Right, and we didn't want to convert the SATA, so let's debug this one. So Ignis already has the support for HDRP lit and uh, if you have your custom shader you can follow the tutorial a tutorial I made to convert uh, make compatibility for your shader so oh no that's too much Maybe that is good. So Ignis will now animate the uh, material with the flame to look more red or whatever you color you want. Okay. You also want to set this on fire and start and I think the campfire is ready. So let's move on to the grass. So we have small grass patches, which are quite easy. Just click vegetation, convert. Let's have a look at flame. It's already quite good. And maybe more liveliness. Maybe a little less VFX. And there we go. I already like it. So. Let's move on to the large grass, which is a little bit harder because the grass patch is so large and when you convert uh, vegetation, Ignis wants to use it as one fire. It's more most performance, ex uh, performance good and uh, you can make it look not so boxy uh, with adding the liveliness and speed maybe but if you don't have many fires you can use the mess fire we discussed earlier and uh, have lots of smaller fires within the grass patch to make it look more more natural natural There we go. Maybe a little bit more red. Nice. Okay, so we have camphire, chair, small and large grass. Let's move on to the trees. And uh, let's just go ahead and convert the usual way with the tree default and uh, click convert it will already enable the mess fire with trees automatically and uh, maybe reduce the count a little bit because these are a little bit smaller trees than the default is for so as you can see the particles are pretty big so let's reduce the particle size for all the VFX Okay, good. Maybe this needs also tweaking. And a little bit more orange for the trees. Okay, quite good. So, 
if you want to use only one LOD for the calculation of the mesh files, you can add, for example, LOD 0 for the calculation. So now it will only use LOD 0 for the for the placements if you have different different meshes for the different LODs it could be useful and uh, so next up we have to end let's go ahead and click convert and skimmed mesh this time we don't want to mess with the leaves because it will mess with the textures and shaders if we convert them so let's go ahead and click convert and uh, let's preview the flame these are pretty small because the model is pretty big and uh, let's just make it bigger maybe even three this could be to more liveliness this could be even free let's put that to zero okay starting to look good maybe more smoke and we are ready with the end Good. Thank you for watching and keep creating guys.